Hello everyone, it is Mike McHugh and welcome to Creative Suite TV, a 3D version of Creative Suite TV because we're going to be having a look at the new 3D features in Photoshop CS5. We're going to extrude, we're going to drop a shadow onto an image in the background and incorporate some 3D into our scene. And if you're a dog lover, there's a dog in this episode as well. Just thought I'd throw that in there for you because I care. Hope you enjoy this episode of this sweet 3D. I've already done some fantastic work to this file in Photoshop already. You'll notice um, if I turn a couple of layers off here, this is the original. I've used the content aware fill to remove the dog and I've also used complex selections in a layer mask here uh, to place the dog back on a new layer. So what this enables me to do is move Poochie around here to anywhere that he likes to go and then I can insert a layer, so you can see I put a text layer in that can slot in behind him, okay, or her as the case may be. We want to incorporate this text, this dog text, uh, so that it fits into the scene and it's going to be, you guessed it, in 3D. So, here's what we do. Select your text, come up to the 3D panel, uh, the 3D menu rather, you need Photoshop Extended for this, and then you can go ahead and choose Text Layer. We're going to choose Text Layer there, and that is done. The Repose feature will enable us to then uh, bring this up, uh, and then we can add some depth to it. You can see there at the moment, I'm just going to temporarily turn that off, the uh, ground plane. You can see the ground plane there, and you can also see the lights. So you can see the 3D lights, so we can turn those off too. There's three light sources, but we'll come back to that. What we can actually do here is, well, it's really quite simple. We can add different um, depths to it, okay? So if I go ahead and have a look at the depth here, it's at, at one, I can actually change that back to, say, you know, a half and make it much lesser a depth. Um, I can twist it. I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I can even add different bevels to the front. But what I want to do is, is add just a little bit of shape to the front there and we can do that um, with an inflate so you can see I can inflate the front and I'm going to put in say 12 just type that in right there down in the inflate section um, and just tab away from there and it's just going to add a little bit of roundness uh, to the front of the text and we'll see that a little bit more when we change the lighting um, a little bit later on Let's go back here um, and turn... No, we won't do that yet, actually. We're going to have a look at the internal constraints because when you first start this up, the default setting here is inactive. And that means if you're working on some text and there's a hole in the middle of it, like an O or a D, you won't be able to see through there. And it's important to be able to see through there. So just go ahead and select that as hole, and then you'll be able to see through there. You can even change the angle of some of the, the holes or the punch outs or what do you call it, a donut or whatever. You can change that angle if you want to. We're not going to do that right now, um, but you certainly can if you want to. You can change bevel. You can map different materials on there, whole bunch of stuff. Let's just go ahead and turn back on our ground plane. And we're going to go back and turn on our 3D light. Okay, and we'll go ahead and press OK. So you can see we have our 3D text there. Now it's not really setting the scene uh, very well at the moment. A couple of things we want to change. First of all, we've got three lights here. We don't need three, we need one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, two of those lights off there. Um, and we can adjust the angle of that light uh, really quite simply. Um, I can select the um, uh, 3D light rotate tool and I can move that about and you can see I can use the little HUD up there but I'm matching this to the, the shadow of our dog here or Poochie as we're calling him. So we're going a little bit far that way. We want a little bit on the front. Let's say we're happy with that. Okay. The other thing um, that we want to do is change the view of this text. So you can see we've got this ground plane with the with the dog sitting on it. We want to make sure that our text snaps to that ground plane. So we're going to go ahead and switch that on and now we can change the view by using the 
3D camera tool. And if I tilt that down, you can see the text is snapping to that ground plane and it's changing angles. Okay, I can rotate this around that way. I can tilt it up and down. And what we really want to do is try and match the background. So this, this is where we want to use the heads up display or the HUD tool here and I can use the, the green axis here to rotate that around and kind of match the beach a little bit and then we can slide things across by using the red one here and the blue one we can slide forwards and backwards like that we might make it a little bit smaller. Should we say for argument's sake that well we're, we're reasonably happy with it we're not bloody delighted but we're reasonably happy with it we think it looks good. The last thing that we want to do is throw a shadow under the text. Okay, so how do we do that? Very easy. Turn this pop out menu and turn on the ground plane shadow catcher. Okay, let me show you where that is again. So you go to the 3D section up here, the 3D panel, choose out there ground plane shadow catcher. Now you might be wondering, Mike, have you gone mad? I can't see any shadows. We just need to change the render setting now. So, how do we do that? Well, we come back to the scene over here, make sure we're selecting the scene, okay? And then go to the quality, and this will be hard to see, but we go to the quality, we want to go to ray traced, okay? Now, this is gonna take a little minute, but what it, you can see a little blue square racing across the screen. That's gonna start tracing this whole image back into high quality and start incorporating our text into the background and instantly we start to see the shadow and I think just as a guess we kind of got the angle looking about right let me just render one other thing while this is rendering out you can always hit the space bar key to stop that um, and can continue working okay but that's what that little new rendering engine is here and it's going to render it out as ray traced now let's just skip ahead and we can have a look at the final Well, it's still working away there and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, with a little bit more effort, we could go ahead and add on to it a sand texture and make this look like a sand sculpture. That, that would be pretty neat as well. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about Repose in Photoshop. Um, we can extrude text, we can add um, reflections on here and, and different things. So I hope you uh, enjoy exploring 3D in Photoshop. CS5, it was certainly a lot of fun doing this one.